guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about proper keyword research. Let's get started. Pinterest is a visual content search engine, and active users on the platform are looking for content using very specific keywords. They are finding ways to improve and learn something to apply it to their daily routine. Discovering new ideas for any niche is very common on Pinterest. Like Google, a very popular search engine, you must optimize the keywords used in your Pinterest account, like your name, bio, boards, and pins, to make your content and brand searchable, and more people can discover your pins on Pinterest. You may notice some profiles include the keywords that most of their target audiences are searching for, and they place it in their profile name, bio, pins, and boards. To determine the right keywords that you must use on your account, pins, and boards, you must do proper keyword research on Pinterest. There are a few ways you can find keywords specific to your niche that your audiences are commonly using. First is the Pinterest search engine. You can type in a keyword, and Pinterest will show you auto-suggested keywords after the keyword that you have typed, and you can see it in the drop-down in bold keywords, like what you can see in this example. You can search for one keyword and add an ABC search. You will see that if you start with the second keyword with the letter A or B or C, you can see the keywords recommended that starts with that letter. It will be easier for you to look for more additional keywords if you try the ABC method. You'll be able to generate tons of keywords using that method. Next is the Pinterest guided search tool. When you type in keywords on the search engine, you will see more keywords below the search engine text box. These are keywords that you can add as a guide for your reason keywords on the text box. These are the keywords that most people on Pinterest search for along with the keywords that you've typed in the search text box. When you click on a guided keyword, it will be added to your reason keyword on the text box, and you will be able to see more associated and related keywords in this section. Every time you choose a guided keyword, a new list of keywords will appear in the guided search tool. You can copy these on your notepad. Simply highlight the first keyword on the left side and drag it to the end to highlight the entire list. Then you can copy it now and paste it on your notepad. Last is using the promoted pins. Under the Create Ads, you can find Pinterest keyword research tool that you can use to find the keyword phrases related to your niche. You can scroll down from these guided keywords. You can look for 4 to 5 keyword phrases and choose the monthly searches with a lesser reach like 100,000 to 500,000 and avoid keyword phrases that show a million reach, since there are a lot of marketers who could be using that keyword, so stay away from that keyword. Copy the keyword phrases that you have clicked on, then paste that on your notepad. If you want your content to rank high on Pinterest search results, you need to know where in your pins does Pinterest look for a match on the keywords that people type on the search bar. Pinterest algorithm searches for keywords inside the data of various parts in your pins. It looks for the keywords in the title, description, tags, author, or profile name where the pin came from. So it is important to include keywords when uploading your content or repinning other people's pins. If you place the proper keywords in the right places, your pins can be found on the home feed of people interested in the same niche related to your keywords. These people are not even following you on Pinterest, and yet they see your pins on their home feed. It is important to do a proper keyword research first so that you can properly target the right audiences who might be interested in your blog or products that you're promoting. Using the keywords related to your niche will help your content be discovered by your target audiences. Now that you know about proper keyword research, we can now proceed to the next topic, understanding analytics. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.